All right, let's keep going. I think you've already served all of your purposes. And from what I remember, this person is pretty much useless. They're just there to be rude and make you you know, think that she serves a purpose when I don't think she does anything at all. Remember, right? Okay. Uh, make sure we've seen everything. Alright, he's not letting me in. Alright, now... Huh. I guess he just had to deny me entry enough times. Because here we go. This is what I tried to do before. And he just had to, he had to tell me no more than once. And we are now in her police women's outfit. Of course, she's not a real cop, but that's not going to stop us from pretending to be. So yeah, as you're guessing, we're now, you know, dressed up in a police uniform, and we're going to pretend being a real cop so that we can actually get inside the, uh, the crime scene. And of course they'll be like, what the hell are you wearing, pretty much. Just talking about how the disc is encrypted. Alright. I believe we actually first want to go here. Nope. Not yet. So yeah, alright, let's go pretend to be a cop and sneak into a crime scene. Something I should try doing in real life. You don't need a badge, just a cute hat. <laughs> he actually does believe we're a cop. Even though, you know, May's all 14 years old, but that's alright. Let's go inside. 
And now we're saying that our reason for being here is we were sent by Ozaki, who was that cop dude we met in the beginning of Tachibana. And of course, he's not going to question it. Empty. Empty. And uh oh. Tachibana's here. Think this is gonna work? Me. Hell no. <laughs> of course, Tachibana's not gonna be fooled. Why'd you come? This isn't for kids. And we're gonna get booted out. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think that would really work, did you? But yeah, so now we know that this is also, if you remember, Tachiban got called in the beginning of the game, we were talking to him. Now this is why. To come and investigate our latest death. Um. So now everyone knows we're not a real cop. Though, ironically, they're still going to let us in the building. Just not yet. Because Tachibana does, you know, trust May enough. Just the fact that they're not going to let her go in there until they get rid of the body. Because she's apparently too young to see a dead body. So, I can't go there. But, we're going to go back to the apartment. Oops. Even if, um, they know we're not cops, other people will. Which, again, this is, doesn't really do anything, but... She's now changed her... She's still being, you know, kind of cheeky, but... She's not rude anymore. She's actually talking politely now that she thinks we're a cop. <laughs> of course, if you talk to this one... She knows you from TV, so... She doesn't really say anything different. And let's just go inside. And okay, not yet. So now I believe it's time to go over to the Sundance. Alright, second street. Now it's finally open. And Motoko and Kana are in here. Because she's wondering why we're already in that. Because it's, you know, not time to perform. Kana says it looks good on her. And now we're just basically going to tell them what the hell's going up. Want to go like you always get into trouble. And how it's linked to her father. Because well, May and Motoko are kind of rivals, they're also pretty much best friends. Now that, you know, no more Ayaka. That's right. We're gonna learn how to hack the disc from Kana. Well, sort of. More of her idea than telling us how. Apple pie and coffee only? Well, let's eat some apple pie. And it's yummy apple pie. Yeah, you can get little chairs here. Oh, 
And a weird sun picture. And that's all we got time for.